Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. It is nippy. Uh, there's no ice on the water here today, but it ain't going to be long. A couple of degrees, and it'll soon be icing over. It is uh, on my van. It says it's zero, so it's it's close to freezing. Uh, I'm actually at work. A bit of a change of plan this week. Uh, Oris, Lorraine's bulldog, hasn't been very well over the Christmas period. He went last week to have some blood tests done, and the vets feared that he got cancer. Um, they booked him in yesterday for a biopsy, and uh, they had to remove uh, a sample from his legs. So that meant putting him to sleep to do that. And apparently, while he was asleep, they decided they better scan his tummy because he got a very swollen tummy. He's lost a lot of weight, and. Um, they gave Lorraine the very, very sad news that he's inoperable uh, and there's nothing that they can do for him, medical-wise. There's no intervention with medicines that's going to help him. So uh, we've agreed at the moment that I'm going to cover work. Um, I'm happy to cover it all week, to be fair, because, you know, he's he's got limited time, bless him. And so my attitude is she needs to spend as much time as she can with him. Um, and then, obviously... When the time is right, he's going to come into our care, so at least he'll get properly looked after, bless him. So that's a bit of a sad situation. I was at work yesterday, and uh, late last night, I had to go before I finished to collect a, a chocolate Labrador, 14 and a half, bless him, called Oscar. And I've got to look after him today, so as I said before, Labradors always get to me. So uh, again, not a very uh, emotionally good day. <laughs> But uh, it's what we do. Uh, now we're in lockdown. Uh, fortunately, um, because I can't work from home because of the nature of what I do, uh, I can travel into work. And as I work um, in the creme on my own, and we have very, very, very limited contact with clients, we can keep uh, COVID safe to the extreme. In fact, to be honest, without being flippant, there's more danger to a client going into a shop to buy a bottle of milk than there is coming into our creme at the moment. So uh, it's just a sad situation for the country, but this is what we've got to do. Other than working, um, I do keep myself well isolated on the boat. Um, I'm not antisocial, but I just uh, try not to mix, uh, keep safe, and that's what we have to do. Um, uploaded the video yesterday onto YouTube. I was gonna make another one today, but obviously now I'm working, so that's not gonna happen. The one that's been uploaded yesterday is going to come out on Saturday. Um, I'm sure Jack will love it because it's cooking. <laughs> um, you might learn something, you never know. Um, so yeah, that's done. And 143 subscribers as of this morning. Um, I said to Polly, my daughter, uh, when we got 140 at the beginning of January, it'd be lovely if I could get 150 by the end of January. So I've got another seven to go and we've got plenty of time. So hopefully we'll have 150 by the end of the month. I think we've got about 100 and I think it's about 170, 180 on Instagram. And I think there's about 140, 243 on this group page. So uh, never been the ambition to get huge and that's not going to happen. But it is nice that people are interested, you know, and I've said this before. It's not a Hollywood lifestyle. Oh, no, it's not. Um, but it's a fantastic lifestyle and I'm hoping that through these little videos in the morning and through some of the vlogs that I do that people get to see the real side of living on a boat and why it becomes so addictive once you're on there never to want to go back and live in a house it really is it's you know it's just um, something dramatic in my life would have to alter my thinking to get me to go back in a house and I've lived in some lovely houses so uh, I'm on the park a lady ships here flipping, demanding, putting the ball in the mulch at the bottom of this tree so it's as black as the ace of spades. Um, but at least I've got her for company, so I'm not lonely on my boat, that's for sure. I've got to get into work. I need to look after this Labrador. Uh, and I've got somebody else coming to pick their rabbit up from yesterday. Uh, lovely little rabbit. And uh, I'm going to try at some point today to do a little bit of very safe food shopping because... That's all gone out the window. All my plans have gone out the window. I might be off tomorrow, we just don't know. It all depends on how Lorraine feels. But personally, I think she should spend the rest of the week off with the dog and uh, fuss him to death. You know, bless him. He's, uh, 
he's a poorly boy which is a shame because I've known him since he were a puppy in fact it was my suggestion that she had him when we went to pick him there were two and uh, he was just a plain white faced as he is a white faced um, bulldog and she always wanted one with uh, a patch over his eye and uh, he's been a cracker he's been on the stage at Nottingham in Legally Blonde so he's acted in the show there for a week bit of stardom and in the breaks in the intervals when we took him into the foyer there were more people wanting to to meet Horace than there was to meet the actual actors off the stage so <laughs> he, he stole the limelight for the week so uh, yeah not good not a good situation so I'm gonna get off um, oh just a quick uh, thank you Glenn from um, a life full of meaning your live um, cast last night was fantastic can't wait to see the wind turbine out that alternator um, sounds like a cracking idea not quite sure how much resistance you're going to get off the spindles onto your uh, Kenlo style fan blades if they're going to be big enough you may have to reinvent uh, invent the blade but in principle I think it's a cracking idea and it's not going to cost you a lot of money to do so even if it doesn't work as successful as you want it to there's no major issue I'm going now so you know that routine if you're at home, stay safe. If you're at work, like me, be productive. But most of all, in these horrible, horrible times, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.